All right, chicken pilaf, very simple recipe. Uh, simple chicken pilaf. I'll start you off with the chicken. I've got some chicken here, which is just a half side of breast, which has been cut up into uh, bite-sized pieces. I've got a couple of cloves of garlic, which I've just sliced. I've got one measure of rice. This is basmati rice. You can use Thai jasmine rice or long grain rice, whichever rice you prefer. A similar measure of onion, a similar mention of yellow, red and orange pepper all mixed up. And as another vegetable to put in there, there's some nice asparagus tips in there, which I've just chopped up. You can use any mixture of vegetables you like, but you will need onion and you'll need garlic. Okay, uh, there's also some milk here, which I'll be using to work this saffron. This saffron that's in the bottom there, it's just a little pinch, which I've toasted in a, a, a dry pan until it's gone one shade darker and it's rather brittle in the bottom of there. I will show you how to use that when I come to that point. Okay, with the saffron, what I do is I put my finger in and just break it up because it's turned really brittle because I've toasted it very quickly in a dry pan. And you can hear it just crunching up. And then once I've got it to that state, I need to pour in a little bit of milk, which helps activate it. So I'm just gonna pour a bit more in. So it's just, what, a couple of tablespoons of milk all together. And I'll just let that swill around and sit in there. And I'll be using that later. All the rest of the action takes place in my pan. Okay, my pan's starting to come up to heat. So what I'll do is I'll pour in some oil, some cooking oil, a couple of tablespoons worth of cooking oil. And into that goes my onion, my peppers, And I want to give that a stir. Just get that turning around. And into that goes my chicken. One ingredient, very important ingredient I neglected to mention is that you'll need some chicken stock made up. So now we just stir this chicken. And get a start on it. We really want to get that frying to seal it. So I bought a whole chicken from which I cut the breast half that I made this with and I've cut off most of the meat which I um, which I've saved for another meal. In fact you'll probably see that in an upcoming chicken pie video chicken and mushroom pie and then I roasted the carcass what was left of it the bones the wings and all that and then I made a stock out of that from the roasted chicken carcass so we get all the goodness of the bones being in here without the bones being in here this is over high heat by the way once all the chicken is um, seared we go now in with our garlic and just stir that in still on high heat then in goes our rice stir that you want to get every rice coated in that oil every single grain of rice covered in oil it's a very important and central to this Okay, at this stage you can put in your asparagus or whatever other vegetables you've got in there. Some great flavours going on in there. And whatever measure you used of 
whatever measure you use, you're going to need one and a half times that measure of stock. So I'm going to bring in my chicken stock. I don't need to measure it, I'm going to eyeball it. I'll need about three of these. And then give that a good old stir. Stir to mix. Then cover it and wait till the lid gets hot before you turn down the heat. So now I'm turning the heat down to my lowest possible setting and I'm going to walk away and allow that to cook for another five minutes and then I'm going to turn the heat off. At no time will I be lifting the lid because inside there the rice is steaming away and the rest of the ingredients in there are cooking. The heat will subside on that and by the time five minutes is up it'll be ready to just turn off and then leave for another five to ten minutes before serving it. Okay we're about five minutes into that so I'm just going to turn it off and leave it with the lid firmly on and guarded jealously for another five to ten minutes. And it really is that simple. Apologies, but uh, due to a technical fault, I lost a bit of footage there. But I opened the lid to see the rice was absolutely perfect. I gave it a stir and I got a picture pretty much like you have in front of you now. And then I drizzled in the saffron milk, allowed it to stand for about half a minute and then gave it another stir and then served it up. <laughs> Hey friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications for all my future videos. It would be great to hear from you in the comments and I'll try to get back to as many of you as possible. You may wish to check out these titles or even help me out with a donation using the links in the description below the video. Thanks for watching.